Zechariah, chapter 6, the tenth of ten visions. And I turned and lifted up my eyes, and, lo and looked, and behold, there came four chariots out from between two mountains, and the mountains were mountains of brass. Okay. In the first chariot was red horses. The second chariot, black horses. The third chariot were white horses. And the fourth chariot was bristled and bay horses, spotted red. Then I answered and said unto the angel that talked with me, What are these, my lord? The angel answered and said unto me, These are the four spirits of the heavens which go forth from standing before the Lord of all the earth. Now, we've seen that back here, Zechariah, a horseman in chapter 1, verse 9, verse 10 and 11. There are things out there that we don't see. Again, Elijah told a young man, say, Lord, open up his eyes, and he saw men, horses. The black horses which are therein go forth into the north country. The white go forth after them. They follow. And the gris go forth toward the south country. And the bay went forth and sought to go that they might walk to and fro through the earth. So two horses go north, one goes south. And one just goes all over the earth. There's no east and westerly direction. Satan goes to and through through the earth. Chapter 1, that, those horses and those men go through the earth. The eyes of the Lord are in every place. There's, there's things all around you. Radio waves are going through you. Nuclear is going through you. That cell phone someone's talking to you, it's going through you. You've got a lot of mystery things going through you and around you. And he said, get you hence. Walk to and fro through the earth. So they walk to and fro, fro through the earth. So these, angels, these horses obeyed the angel. Get going. You do what you're supposed to do. Then cried he unto me, and spake unto me, saying, Behold, these that go toward the north country, the red and the white, have quieted my spirit in the north country. Doesn't make them upset, it just peace. No bad report. No trouble. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Take of them of the captivity, those that were in Babylon, even of Heldai, jo Tobajiah, and of Jedidiah, which are come from Babylon. So they've left Babylon. They're in the land. And come thou the same day, and go into the house of Josiah, the son of Zephaniah. Then take silver and gold and make crowns, plural, and set them upon the head of Joshua, the son of Josedirek, the high priest. Crowns. Well, Aaron the high priest had a mitre. Joshua gets crowns. We get crowns. And speak unto him, Joshua, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, saying, Isn't it funny how Joshua ends up the high priest during this time? Joshua, Jehovah saves. Behold, the man whose name is the branch, the man, Jesus Christ. Behold the man, Isaiah 11, 1, Revelation 5, 5, Acts. 13 23 Isaiah 4 2 
and he, Jesus, shall grow up out of his place. He shall build the temple of the Lord. So, Jesus being a, a carpenter built the temple, right? This is all future. For us. Jesus didn't build no temple. Even he shall build the temple of the Lord. He is the Lord. He shall bear the glory. Wow, by being in it. He shall sit and rule upon his throne. All right, tell me from your past studies of the tabernacle, of the building of Solomon's temple, and the rebuilding of the temple of Ezra and Nehemiah. Where was there a throne? Eli made himself a seat by the post, but there, there, there was no seat in that tabernacle or that temple but the mercy seat. Now, here's a temple built by God, and it says, there's a throne. Possibility that holies of holies is going to contain the throne of David, the Lord Jesus Christ city. He shall be a priest upon his throne, a priest king. That's not Joseph. Uh, that's not Joshua. When Babylon took over Jerusalem, that was the end of the kings. Oh, earth, earth, earth! Right, this man, no king, no man of this sea shall prosper upon his throne. The virgin birth. That's it. The that line of kings is done. This is the Lord Jesus Christ, and he builds the temple. So that temple that Satan sits in, in the tribulation, has got to be destroyed. And the Bible keeps saying where Satan's seat is, upon the seat of the beast. You think Jesus Christ is going to step up where Satan sat and take... No, no. He's going to get rid of that. He shall be a priest upon his throne. No priest sat on the throne. And the council of peace shall be between them both. What's that? The king and the priest. The altar and the throne. And the crown shall be to Edom, to Jebiah, and to Jediah, and to Hen, the son of Zephaniah, for a memorial in the temple of the Lord, present day. Now look, we've been talking about Joshua, you know, put this crown upon him. In two verses, we jump all the way to the millennium, and then we come back to the temple again. You see why they never got it? Let's read the Bible if there was a prophecy. Joshua the son of Josiah, a high priest, and speak unto him, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord of hosts, Behold, the man whose name is the branch, and he shall grow up out of his place. He shall build the temple of the Lord. Wait a minute, the temple's already built now. You mean there's going to be a second one? Even he shall build the temple of the Lord. Wait a minute, what is this place? He shall bear the glory and shall sit upon the rule upon his throne. What throne? There's no throne here, Lord. Zechariah, you're a, what are you talking about? And he shall be a priest upon his throne. And Zechariah, there's no throne and there's no priest upon the throne. It's got to be future. Do you know somebody who, who, who claims this verse that claims to be a king? And a priest and has a throne of a wrong man. He claims to sit on the seat of Peter and ruleth the nations and claims to be a priest.
That's hypocrisy. That verse is not talking about no man but the Lord Jesus Christ. You telling me that man is calling himself the branch and council of peace? Do you know how many wars have been since the first pope? Do you know how many Christian, born again, Bible believing, saved under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, born again, have been killed under the popes? And you're going to say that that, that Papa Saloni Polak is this guy? The last one who couldn't even get out of the bathtub without tripping. That's a God? If you read in the headlines, your God tripped in the bathtub, you need a new God. If you read in the newspaper that your Pope has been dethroned for whatever reason, and you got to put a new one, you need a new God. People are so... Listen, I, I call people stupid all the time. Look at them. They are. How can you study your Bible and say that your religion is proper when it goes against the Word of God? If that guy does not call himself Jesus Christ, what does he call himself? He has a throne and he calls himself a priest. He even adds the title Father. He even calls himself Holy Father. I'm trying to think of the, the victor of Christ. That's what I was trying to think of. Come on. Really? So verse 14, we go back to the present. And they that are far off shall come and build in the temple of the Lord. And ye shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto you. And this shall come to pass. Come to pass. It hasn't. According to chapter 6, Zechariah has not been proven to be a true prophet of the Lord. What did the law say about a prophet? To be honorable and right in God. It had to come to pass, right? Zechariah 6 has not come to pass. So when Jesus Christ sits in the temple upon David's throne, and they do what they're supposed you're able to go up to Zechariah and pat him on the back and say, you're a faithful servant, prophet of God. Twenty five hundred years and this has not been fulfilled yet. Zachariah, you're looking a little bad. You know how he looks good? Let me give you a verse to make Zachariah look real good. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Lord. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Those two verses right there says Zechariah is a faithful, it just hasn't happened yet. And this shall come to pass if ye will diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God. What's holding this back? What is holding back Jesus from being a priest and a king? The Jews doing right. What is God got to do to that Jew to get them right? Adolf Hitler didn't do it. I have never read those books. I'm afraid, I'm afraid to read those books. I'm afraid of the terror that those books would cause unto me if I were to read the accounts that they did to the Jews. Not only is I was gonna say Adolf Hitler. Not only is the Antichrist gonna chase the Jews, but God's gonna chase them too. Seven vials, seven seals, seven trumpets, three woes. Satan himself and the satanic unholy trinity. And 
most, not all, the Gentile nation powers will be against one group of people. And they're going to run for their life. And they're going to pray. They're going to pray. They're going to seek God. Say, Man, you know what? We are in deep doo-doo. And at that point, when they repent, here comes Jesus, and not into them. That's an interesting Bible study. If God is all finished with the Jews, now get this for a minute. Let's get this for a minute. If God is all finished with the Jews, then your doctor says that Jesus Christ is never coming back to set up his kingdom, set up his throne, and set up his temple. If he's all done with the Jews. I call you a liar. I call you a false prophet. Because Jesus Christ is coming back. Those Jews will get right. And Jesus will sit upon the throne of David. And there will be a temple there. Bible. 